think we had just a very good day today here today at DPTC Circular Economy um, event. Um, from our perspective, I think we tried to explore what does circular economy even mean to industry or to farmers? Um, there's a lot on people's table at the moment. Like from my perspective, and I think I alluded to it there, it's that everyone's just talking about the nitrate directive and whether we'd have to wind back a dairy industry. And that means circular economy is well down the list. But it's quite clear from talking to the participants there, circular economy is going to be front and center. What does it mean? It means reusing uh, what is coming out of the dairy industry um, for, for different uses. I think the classic example is the use of whey, which used to be a waste product for the dairy industry, now is one of the value added products that's helping support milk price. And today they're really, really looking at maybe biomethane, slurry, what we're going to do, manure, maybe there's opportunity here that that maybe can become a basis for extra income streams for not just dairy farmers, but for all types of farmers. There's this kind of perception that this slurry is a pollutant. It's not. You, you're, you're good farmers in, around. And I, for, for slurry is a, there's huge potential in our slurry uh, as, a, as, a, as a classic bioeconomy um, value add for our farmers. Like it can replace chemical nitrogen. It possibly can get uh, new fertilizer streams off it. It can give us maybe some energy for decarbonize our co-ops for general energy. So I suppose we have to think a little bit differently from my perspective as an industry representative, but also for farmers and see where the win-wins are here for our cooperatives and our farmers and to see how we can even leverage this as, as another good news story. We're seeing it in other countries, like the US was given an example there and Denmark, where about half their energy is now coming from biomethane and, and and, and gases coming from um, their circular economy initiatives and they're able to decarbonize their dairy. So look, there's there's huge opportunity perhaps coming, but I think we need to grasp it and we need, I think the, 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 the theme I kept saying was policy and coherence. We need proper direction and we need proper funding for farmers and businesses to grasp these. I, I suppose the government have committed 40 million in this year's budget to this, so that's a start, but it has to be directed into a good pilot project. I think there was really good projects. If you have an industry that's going to be based on subsidy, it's not going to work in the long term. You're going to have to build an industry that works and it's standard to the feet, but that doesn't mean we don't put money in to pilot the industry and make sure it works for farmers and works. So that's where I would like the 40 million to be spent. Get pilot plans, see does this work? How does it work in Irish conditions? Because you can't build a biomethane uh, industry on a 100 cow dairy farm versus a 10,000 cow dairy farm that you have in the States. So it's very different. So you have to really model it for the Irish, the Irish. And like, I think the cooperative movement that we have in Ireland and from dairies and beyond might be a, a good start for that. Thank <laughs> you.